Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. My drink is some iced coffee and this is the mug I got at our zoo lights that we went to. It's huge. I would say maybe 24 ounces, but I put iced coffee in it today. I've been working, working, working. I've got a box over there to put away. I'm a mess, guys. But I've got a fantastic Dollar Tree haul for you. I can't wait. Now, first things first, my nails. I'm getting a lot of comments that folks are liking my nails. These are Color Street. Um, they're like deep nail overlays. I don't sell them. I bought these last year at a party I was invited to. But if you sell them, put a link below. And if you have a Etsy shop or a small business or something, I think I want to do a video and highlight some small independent salespeople. So if you want to contact me, what I could do is a video and talk about whatever your product is and put links in the description box to everybody. If that sounds like a good idea, because I love supporting small business. And this is the time to do it, right? Holidays, like I love shopping Etsy on the holidays and I love shopping small business. Uh, my friend in Florida is starting to make those resin mugs, the coffee cups or water cups or whatever. And she's gonna send me one and a link to her, to her Etsy store. So if you're on the market for one of those, I'm sure she'd be able to help you out. Oh, sorry, I kicked. That is Alex, his little tushy. You wanna come see me? The boys woke up when I decided to video. And here's Mr. Wellington. He's just getting up. He's been asleep. Oh, I got ya. He's been asleep in his little bed. <laughs> okay, there you go. Everybody says hi. Alex is back there doing what Alex does. You lay down. Okay, let's get into this video. I'm so excited. Um, and this is exciting. No, but I needed it. These are party, no, patty papers. They're just parchment squares. You get a hundred of them. So I'm getting ready to bulk bake uh, my keto bread that I can have. And I put a piece of parchment in between when I freeze it. Because I can't eat even a whole serving in the time before it would go bad. So I make four batches, which would make me 16 to six almost 17 or 18 buns and I freeze them so I use these in between you can cut parchment but honestly it's done for me so I just grab those um I might have found another one of these games I do not know why I'm so obsessed with these things but I am this is cornhole or bag toss whatever you call it I'm gonna have to set all these up and have my family over and we're gonna have to do a little mini game Olympics or something and com competition of some sort. But I, this is the latest one I found. Hi, buddy. That's why I grabbed it. Um, okay, I've got a cat in front of me and I am shocked, guys. Look at these at the Dollar Tree. I have one of these over by my back door and it was $4 on Amazon, the exact same thing except for it's gray. So I picked up two and I love it for my cats. You fill this with water and you just snap it in and it's a self water. I'm sure you all know what they are. Now I grabbed two, one for my boys for upstairs and one for Luna for her house. When she's here, she drinks out of it. Little dogs, she the big dogs try to drink out of it, but they just make a mess. But the little dogs, cats little pets can totally drink out of this and it's great it just self waters i wash mine about once a week twice a week um i do have hard water and they lick and so i just throw it in the sink and soak it in a little soapy water and rinse it out and put it back down for them but it's great to make sure your pets have plenty of water because i think sometimes we forget so i grabbed two one for me and one for luna because she's the only other small dog or small pet. And I wanted one for upstairs for my boys anyway, because they're up there with me most of the day. So I'm hoping this will encourage them to drink a little more. But this is a Christmas present, so don't tell Sarah. Cause she'll tell Luna, she's like that. I found, now you know I showed you these, but I got two more. I'm loving these jars. Look how big that opening is. Just as a reference, my hand fits down in here. 
So I have in my bathroom, my bathroom upstairs, um, I wipes there. They come in like handy wipe containers. I have a, I don't even know what it is. My eye doctor told me to use these wipes, so I use them. But it helps me not get styes on my eyelash line. So I filled one up with those. This one is going to be for cotton balls, and this one will be for my Q-tips. And I might even paint the tops black and put a little something. I don't know, maybe not. But I love the retro feel of these, and I like the size from my bathroom counter. So I have now three. But today, oh, look at this. Now, this one doesn't have as large of an opening, but can you imagine filling this with like the cookie recipe thing or filling it with hot chocolate or spiced tea or something for a gift? I just think it's amazing. Or if you grow honey, grow honey? If you have a honeybee hive nest hive thing, Anyway, it kind of reminds me, I just love it. And I love the grip on it. So, you know, I'm older. I drop things. My grip isn't always there, but it's, if you can hear, it's it's raised. So it's good for a grip. Could be a candy dish, but I think it would be hard to get your hand in. So I grabbed this one. Not sure what I'm going to do with that, but you grab it when you see them. And then look at this one. Now, this one has a decent size opening, and it's smaller, and it has the hobnail around it this i would say would be a fantastic candy gift like fill it with some candy put a gift card fill it with coffee i mean guys are just so unique and cute and the jar is reusable and i love that you could put your sugar in here sweetener coffee bar hot cocoa bar i mean but there's a million <laughs> there's alex a million things you could do with these little jars and for one dollar so i grabbed them they don't have to just be for christmas Trust me, I've got, I got plenty of stuff for Christmas. Now, speaking of Christmas, I've got some stocking stuffers that I found here. Um, just because I think they're cute. And my Dollar Trees, I hit the jackpot. All three of my Dollar Trees have all this new stuff out. And they haven't for some time. And I've been struggling, but now they do. So I got this little Hatchimals. We're going to open this up. Sorry if this is a long video. It's called a Hatchimal Royal Snowball. I mean, that's appropriate for me, right? I feel like I need, I'm part royalty, or I should be anyway. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll get this off. And then today these nails are going. And I picked up a set while I'm trying to open this. I picked up a, a set of this style of decal thing at Target. And I'm going to try those and I'll let you know. Um, I will tell you, I got the Sally Hansen, which is a name brand, but I did get it at the Dollar Tree, and they did not last me very long. I've had these on for over two weeks now, and they are not peeling, lifting, chipping, nothing. They're outgrowing, but you can't tell because they're French manicure. Okay, so the egg is gold, and it looks like this, and then you pop it open. Oh, gosh, what is this? I don't know what this is. There's another egg in here. Maybe that's it. It sounds like there's something in it though. Oh, it's a purple. This is a lot of work guys. I'm not lying here. No, it's a teal polar. It's a polar Royal. I wonder if you have to open it or something. I don't know. I don't know how to get in it. There's no directions. I need a toddler because you know that I, I don't know how to get in here. Oh, I squeezed it. I broke it. You squeeze it. So it's like a regular Hatchimal. You have to break it open. Um, excuse me, sir. We don't eat plastic, but thank you. Oh, he just smacked me. <laughs> yes, my old man just smacked me. Okay, so you break it open. You squeeze it really hard and break it. <gasps> And look who we got. I don't even know who this is. Stop, sir. But if you have little people in your life, I'm going to, okay, excuse me. We don't hit. I have to tell him this. We don't hit, sir. If you have little ones, they will love these things. And this one I just got is, um, stop, Royal Polar bear, Royal Polar Bear, Polar Bear, something. Oh, and it has a, t a pacifier or something. Guys, I don't know. I'm wasting time. I'll stop. 
But anywho, I just wanted you to see that they're super cute. And I feel like if you have little people in your life, they will love it. Get them a couple and put them in their stocking. The other thing, and I won't open this one, is a little pony. Another little blind something. We'll open it later. Um, for Sarah's stocking, I picked up these. Now, these are John Frieda. This is a, a name brand. Um, they've been carrying at the Dollar Tree for a while. Sarah loves hair masks, and this is a damage repairing. She you know, she still works in the office, so she does her hair every day. So I grabbed her hair mask. She loves them, and it'll be perfect stocking stuffer for her. And, oh, this one. That smells really pretty. It smells mm, very perfumey. But I just thought this was a beautiful little candle. Again, like a little candle, a bath bomb, a gift card. It's a beautiful gift. And I love this gold. And it smells good. I don't know what the throw is, but it's a nice stocking stuffer. And this is, I think, fantastic. And I can't wait to use it for me. Oh, hi. Hi. I, you're looking at my mess. That's my knitting bag. It's a LED light up mirror. You put two AAA batteries in it and then you can, you know, have a, a close up mirror for whiskers. Cause you know, I got the whiskers and this will help me with it. So I'm gonna put it in my desk drawer while I'm on a conference call. I could be looking for the random whiskers cause that happens to me. Uh, but this would be a fantastic stocking stuffer. Um, so there was that. Oh my gosh, the old man is playing. He doesn't normally play, but they love these balls. There you go, buddy. Okay, so those are good stocking stuffers. These, I think, are stocking stuffer gift ideas. I found this. It's a candle-making set. Like, what the heck? At Dollar Tree? And let me tell you, this is some strong smell. And I'm sure you remember back in the early 90s, late 80s, it's wax pellets, like little wax pellets. And you get three cents. And then it comes with a little jar and a wick already in there, but my wick is needs to be reattached. And it comes, but it comes with its own wick. Um, this one was glued in there with hot glue. It's a mess. I will fix that. That is not an issue for me. But you glue your wick in, and then you just pour around it the candle, this wax pellets, and you've just made a DIY candle. How fun would this be either for like a young, I would say tween, like 12, 13 year old, or with some younger ones and they can make candle gifts to give to people. Let them pour the wax in. But I will tell you, it has a very strong smell. So I found those at my Dollar Tree. I found some more of these, which I think would be fantastic, again, for your younger tween type. It's this, the pages that has the black and you scratch and this is what's under it. But if you paired these and you get 50 sheets with some stencils and then they can lay the stencil down and then scratch, I think that would be so fun. But these are great for $1. This is some fun stocking stuff right here. I would have loved this as a little person. I'm just saying. And then the last thing I didn't even realize, I bought this little penguin planter. We're going to open it because this is for me. And I was going to use it, and I still might, as a um, as a planter to do a cutting of my, what we now know as my Thanksgiving cactus, not my Christmas cactus. Or you, it comes with soil and seeds. Like what? And I need you to see what this is. It's a penguin. I mean, they had a moose. I needed the penguin in my life. But I was going to put it, the soil in it and redo a cutting of my Thanksgiving cactus. Again, I still might. I could just use this soil because I feel like the Christmas, I'll have to look it up. But I don't think the Christmas and Thanksgiving cactuses need, I'm getting dirt all over me, need, um, Sorry, dirt just went flying in my mouth. I know that they need the cactus soil, but I'll look it up before I do it. Okay, so then there was that. Oh, now I got, this is the, to quote my brother, the coup de gras. Sir, we don't play in the tree. They're a mess today. Here, go get it. 
So I have actually been on the hunt for these for some time because I had seen somebody last year hauling these and I have never, ever, ever seen them at my Dollar Tree. And I honestly thought this was a unicorn. I was never gonna find it. But girls, guys, I sure did. Bob Ross puzzles. What the heck? 300 peas with happy little trees. Like what? So I'm giving one to my brother for a gift because I know he loves Bob Ross. I mean, who at my generation didn't grow up watching him on PBS? And then there's this one. And then I found this one. And I think there was one more, but I didn't need four. I mean, did I need three? No, but did I buy three? Hex, yeah, because these are getting gifted. Two of them, I'm gonna put, I'm putting one together. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. I don't even know what you do with it. I've never put a puzzle together, but. I'm going to figure it out because this is Bob Ross at our finest friends. That's so exciting. I was like, I just found the Bob Ross puzzles and it was a whole box. Now I'm sure they're gone by now, but there was a whole box of them. They're only 300 pieces. So I figure I can do it. So that I thought was a fantastic gift idea. And I think that's it for gifting stuff. The rest of this is like gonna be DIY crafty stuff. However, this item is in their gifting section and it's the tumbling tower, but it's a double size. Guys, this is a double size of the tumbling tower blocks. Now, do I play Jenga with this? No. I use these for crafting fairly regularly. And when I saw that they had the double size and I'm out, I grabbed two. But I was thinking on my way home, a budget gift, especially if you have a younger child, toddlerish, four or five maybe, you would know your children or your grandchildren. You could take these blocks and stain them or paint them different colors and make them a block set. Like little kids love stacking things and sorting by color. And for a dollar and a little bit of your time, I know money's tight right now, we're all on a budget. How fun would that be for a little personalized gift? You could write their names on some of the blocks. Heck, you could put letters on these blocks and make a spelling game. So I would say like put the letters vertical or the blocks vertical and put letters, maybe like the, a, the, um, the word is coming big and little, but it's not capital and, little, and small, lowercase and uppercase capital letters, you know, on each block and you could spell words, give them a whole, I mean, there are how many in here? 72 blocks. You know how many of the alphabet you could get? I don't know. That just came to my mind because I always think like, what can we do with something like this? And put it in one of the bags, like a satin bag or something, and the kids could play. I mean, it's fun for little people. I know I'm babbling. I'll stop babbling now. But I just thought I was very passionate about that, okay? Okay, speaking of bags, I found the other bag. And I loved your ideas on my last video about filling them up and putting them under your tree or ornaments. I mean, there's a million things you can do with these. And I think these are new to my store anyway. I never saw these last year. So I just grabbed one more and I put them with my gift wrapping stuff and you know, maybe my crafting stuff. But yeah, so I grabbed one more three pack. I'm actually tossing it over there because that's where my gift wrap stuff is behind you. Um, I picked up two more of these. I know some stores don't sell them. This is the clear shelf liner. I use this with my Cricut as um, transfer tape. And I was running low and I hadn't seen it at my stores in quite some time and I was a little nervous. So I grabbed two. I mean, I can buy transfer tape for crafting, but this is so inexpensive. I also use it to cut out stencils. So if you have a Cricut, you can cut this to make a stencil you know, so it's definitely much less expensive. And I like, like I said, I like to budget where I can, right? Um, I picked up two more sheets of the cork. This is the first time I've seen this in a little while. And if you see behind me, I have a video up where I made um, ornament or uh, coasters for some family members personalized with pictures from the Dollar Tree. And I needed to make a couple more sets and so I was out of cork. But I put this cork on the back of eight cent tiles. That's how I made them. 
Um, and there's a video on that, but I needed some more cork. Now it was, you know, you can buy cork shelf liner. I know at Walmart, I'm sure on Amazon, but I just grabbed these because I saw it and I don't need a ton. Um, I found, and I've never seen these before at my store. I was looking for the, the stretched canvas with the wood, but what I found are these little hard canvas three packs for $1. And I thought these are so fun to make little signs for your tiered tray personalized. Or again, let the grandkids or somebody paint something on it. Like I have a pictures in my basement that my little niece painted for me and I gave her canvas and paint and let her go to town and then I hung them. And you can make ornaments out of these. You can make little collages, let the kids have fun. I mean, it's vacation time, people coming up. Give them some canvas and some paint and let them go to town. Cause you can't mess it up. It's top, it's top, you know, Dollar Tree canvas. Um, I grabbed another two pack of these little containers. And actually what I'm going to do, I am putting frosting. I will probably put the frosting in a bag and put the bag in here because I don't think these are airtight and I don't want the frosting to dry up. For my neighbors today, I'm putting together, maybe tomorrow, I'm putting together a uh, decorate your own cookies and I will show you how I make my kit. I'll do a video for you or it'll be in my Monday vlog. It'll probably be in my Monday vlog, but um, I got these little containers because I figured I could fill it with the um, frosting in a baggie and then stick it in here and it'll be more decorative in the kit and they're two for one dollar. So I brought those. I picked up some styrofoam. Look at that. It's just a little tree. It's a small tree. There's a hundred things you can do with these. And I try to grab them when I see them. Um, I was actually thinking about a gnome because I'm a little gnome obsessed, but we'll see. But I grabbed one tree and then I grabbed two packs of these two packs. So there's four here of the round. And this is hard foam. This is not floral foam, um, but it's going with a DIY I have coming up. So I needed that. So I picked it up because that's what you do, especially when you see it. Um, I found this. This was in the gifting section. You've probably seen it. I don't know. All this stuff is new to me. It's a little lantern. I'm going to open it up because, again, I'm not, this is not a gift or anything. However, it could be a gift for somebody. Or think about this. If you're doing like a summer wedding or spring or winter wedding, put these in the trees. If it's an outdoor wedding, you have to pull the tab, pull the tab. Guys, they light up. Can you imagine a tree full of these for $1 a piece? Now, the one thing I don't love about things like this is I'm not going to go around my house and individually turn them on and off. It's just not going to happen. I know my weaknesses in life. All of my Christmas lights are on timers. I don't have time. I just won't. But I'm going to try to make an effort with this thing. Because I like it. Or just turn it on, I guess. It'll burn out eventually. I don't know. But anywho. I don't know. But I thought it was totes adorable. And I wanted to share it with you. So I picked one up. They had a whole box. They're just now coming out with the stocking stuff at my store. And this is what the box looks like. It's an LED says uses three pieces alkaline batteries for each product included. It was manufactured in June of 2020. Best by 10 of 10 of 10 of 21. So it's not really supposed to be a long-term thing. It's an LED hanging lamp. Oh, you could put it in your kids' room and they could turn it on and off at night. Oh, so cute. So I thought that was a lot of fun. I'm supposed to be stuffing things in this bag that I have over here to make life easier. It didn't happen, kids, just so you know. I'm doing it now. I gotta deal with that box behind me. And then I wanna leave the stocking stuff down here because that's what it is. All right, got a few more things. I found the SGX brand. Um, this is expensive products. It is name brand, it's Salon. I'm assuming they're going through repackaging. But this is SGX New York Salon Graphics. This is the um, protective texture spray. So if, like for my hair, I can texture it. And then this is the 
finishing hairspray so I can texture and finish. The only other one they had at my store was dry shampoo and I don't tend to use that product so I didn't buy it, but I grabbed these two. I mean, why not? Right? And I'm sure it tells me what to do. But this is free of parabens, petroleum, sulfates, mineral oil, gluten, vegan friendly product, not tested on animals. I mean, this is fantastic stuff for one shiny dollar. I know they're at least $8 in the store. So I grabbed two of one, just one of each. I have a stockpile. I mean, I have a few cans of hairspray and stuff, but I do use it every day. So there's that. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, folks. I bought a two bag, two pack of these bags, gift bag wrappers. These are great, by the way, and they're pretty decent size. So I'm gonna wrap my cookie tray in one to deliver and then I will have one for the other. But I grabbed those. I grabbed two of these. I love this for me. And then to take the cookies to my neighbors, I'm going to put them in this bucket. And I have a cookies for Santa plate that'll go in the back, the cookies, and then all the stuff that I've gotten to go in it. And I thought this was just fun. And they can, the kids can reuse that for whatever. You know, we've all seen those, but they're very handy to have. Now, I have the last items are all new at least new in my store. I feel like I've seen a couple going around YouTube, but this is the first time I've seen them. I grabbed three of these frames. This is actual, it's probably that pressed wood, but look, it has the little label on the front, which does have screws. So you could take it off, although the top is open, so you could slide a little label. But think about on Christmas, your menu or your buffet. I mean, it's glass. I think these are fantastic. So I grabbed three of them. I don't know exactly what I will do, but I think they're great. And I would actually even just use them as regular frames. They're a decent quality and they don't look cheap. You know, that doesn't look like I spent a dollar. And they're three and a half by five. So there's nothing gigantic. You could paint them, but you'd need to take that off. So I grabbed three of those and they had a ton. They're coming out with all the new frames. I don't need a ton of frames, but I want to show you the frames. Then I picked up these and I got three of them for my kitchen. This one says, this kitchen is seasoned with love, but I love the, the buffalo check. And my kitchen is actually all but Christmas time done in this buffalo check. And I love the vertical. I like vertical tall things to put on some shelves in my kitchen. So they had that one. They had this one that says, welcome to our home. But you can always put something over. And I feel like you can pop this frame off and do whatever. And then this one says blessed. So I'm going to definitely use one or two in my kitchen. And I'm going to craft with one or two. And they're not, they're not solid. And I don't think they're even that particularly strong. But they don't need to be just to lean up on a shelf or hang on your wall. But I thought these were pretty darn fantastic for a dollar. And they already come as, you know, oops, country, farmhouse, whatever you want to call it. Okay, the last thing I picked up, I was giddy when I found, giddy, because I was on the hunt for these. And they're the little um, camera picture frames. What? They're so adorable just how they are. Pink, blue yellow and black or uh, purple but i think i'm gonna paint them black and do like white highlight to make them look like a real camera i don't know guys but i'm obsessed and on the back you can change out the picture it's just plastic nothing major you, i mean you don't yeah i guess if you didn't want to put a picture in it you could just leave it open and see through it i'm not sure what i'm doing but i got four of them because these are going to fly off the shelf. So if you're interested, grab them. And I just feel like they would be so cute in any decor. You could put this anywhere. Anywhere. All right, guys. So this is it. We got to do our um, thumbnail picture. Do you like that? Let's try it again. I'm so cheesy. So yeah, that's my haul. It's 
pretty fantastic. I was super excited to bring it to you. So I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, if you lasted this long, like, subscribe, share. And if you're an a independent seller on Etsy or wherever, drop a link or send me an email because I'm going to do a whole video on independent sellers if I get enough interest from my channel. All right, guys, I hope you have a good one. Bye.